Now we look at question number five. So question number five state that you have a equation y equals to mx uh, is the tangent to the curve with the equation x plus 8 square plus y minus 14 square equals to 52. Without using your GC, you must straight away understand that this is a circle with center minus 8, 14 with read as square root 52. This is your A-level, O-level additional math. Huh? You must understand this. Okay, if you don't understand it, it's very dangerous. Huh? So, he was asking us to show that M satisfied. When I use the word satisfied, it means that it have to fulfill the equation. Huh? In math, huh? now we are doing math, not engineering. Huh? Satisfied this thing. So how do we prove that there are four marks here where A and B are the points on the curve and the tangent A and B intersect at the origin then they ask you to find A and B. Look at the questions. I mean when you bought when you when, when you have the the ten year series. Okay, so in order to solve this question we can draw a curve like that. Okay, then you have a tangent here. Since this tangent is what? This y equals to. I uh, just anyhow draw, huh? Never draw it properly. You can draw it all without drawing it, that's okay. But this y equals to mx, huh? Y equals to mx, normally we, we have the curve like that. Now, so when m is bigger than 0, or smaller than 0, it is another way. Put it this way. That means it is a tangent at here. And this is the circle center is minus 8 and 14 actually it should be positions the other side oh so i draw it not correctly it should be something like try not to be too lazy like me uh. so i just want to be fast and doesn't mean that it's good uh. 14 and this is your y equals to max so so they ask us that M certify this equation. How do you go to resolve this? Do you want some hints? There are, there are few ways of doing this. La. First of all, this is the origin, right? And this is the radius. Huh? So you got origin or radius then you got Pythagorean theorems, correct? Ah, so from these you can find this point. From the Pythagorean theorem, you can find this point. How? A square plus B square equals to C square. You can find this point. The Pythagorean theorem. I would not use calculus to do that because it is so lengthy and it's so troublesome. Okay? The other way to do that is that we know this point, we don't know this point, but we can let this point is what? X and MX. Uh. X and MX. So this gradient time this gradient uh, will give you what minus one then you suck in to the equation and do the b square uh then sub into equation you you fulfill the thing okay because you got two equations so depending on what is the approach you want uh, um so from here you can find your r and this you can find your your distance okay i'm going to use because i i don't like a lot of square i'm going to use uh the one that i i introduced just now i let 
x and mx and going to sum it in and sum in the equations. First, I need to find the gradient. Now. For example, the next question you ask is a and b, right? Then I would just say this is a, this is b. Oh, sorry. I would just say this is a, this is b. Okay? So, ao gradient is equals to mx minus 14 x plus x plus x plus 8 okay so this is the gradient so this gradient okay multiply the gradient of m this is m right they give you minus 1 Okay, and y equals to mx. So you can, this is equation one, this is equation two. So equation one, what you need to get, what you get is that, okay, mx minus 14 times m equals to minus x minus eight. So x becoming m plus one, m squared plus 1, okay, minus 14, 14m minus 8. We are growing out people, la, so somehow you, you might need to check your work, la, okay? I'm not going to spoon feed and babysit a lot of things, okay? Got it? So y equals to m times m squared plus 1 mx oh so sorry it's not ms okay mx is this so it's going to m times 14 m minus 8 so then you can sub into this equation which look very complicated 14 m minus 8 plus 8 uh, square plus m 14 m minus 8 m square plus 1 minus 14 equals to 52 okay the trick is that all left hand side and right hand side you have m square plus 1 right so you don't expand it out you just move it to the other side and this is m squared plus 1 and this is 8 here so you multiply in you cancel off the 8 so we see everything is pre-arranged so don't panic and this is m 14m please 14m squared this is minus 14m squared so in a level you need to strategize and you need to look at what's the next step you don't panic huh? no need to panic okay if you don't practice more you practice now you still have hope Okay, you get this beautiful thing from this, from this expression, and you get a blue one from here. I'm going to have another lesson for further math. So if you are interested, you can look at my YouTube as well for further math. That one I think is more challenging, but. Normally, when we go for exam, most of the examiner or the 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 the, the lecturers who who set the questions are for mathematical mathematic department. What they want to do is that it's not teaching you how to use calculator, it's to teach you the right concept in math. That's it. Okay, so you need to understand the intention. Of course, you cannot be careless. Huh? So this is 14m plus m square, take m square. And this is 14 plus 8m square also. Mm, but this is external square. External square, why I can just omit the minus because it's a square. So you, you need to have this sense. Uh. In A level math, you, it's not like O level, 
very forgiving, but in A level you need to manipulate in a very elegant way. Oh. So this is m, and m square plus one is equals to fourteen m fourteen plus x square. Oh, sorry. Fourteen m square. Is that fourteen m square? I just factor. I just extract it out in factorization term. Uh. So 52 m square plus 1 square. We know that m square plus 1 will never be 0. Why? Because everything m square plus 1, something x square plus 1 will never be 0. You know why. Lah. So don't ask me why. I think this is very straightforward. So it's 14 plus x square. Sorry. 14 plus x m square equals to 52 m square plus 1. You just need to use your expansion, no? but I'm a very lazy person. I don't like to expansion. So this is 8, right? This is 14. As I say, math, you need to do it elegant way. La. This is a 2, 2 times 2, 4. This is 52. It can be divided by 4, right? Okay, 13. Oh, 13. Oh. Okay, so this is 49 plus 56m plus 16m square equals to 13m square plus 1. So this is 3m square plus 56m plus 48 equals to 0. So look at the way I solve these questions. Oh, this is 13. I'm sorry. Yeah. So 49 minus 13. I use I don't use a lot of brand cell, you see. I don't use a lot of memory. I use technique. I don't use, even use calculator. You look at the way I solve the questions. Even I explain a lot. In fact I don't need to explain. I can solve it in five minutes. No, actually three minutes. Why? A lot of cancellation. You need to learn how to do that. Okay? This is the basic of A level. So now the next questions is now the A and B value is our curve here. You solve the M, you can find it lah. Right? Okay, you don't solve the M, how do you find it? Correct or not? So how to find it? X is how much? X is this figure. X is uh, this figure. You just sub in 1 minus 2, 3 equals to this thing. You get your X become. You just, minus, you just use X to substitute this. Huh? I'm different. I'm using a method different from what is stated in the uh, 10 year series exam answer. But my answer looks simpler and easy to follow. So I think you better use my method to do because x only have one value and depending on the m x is the functions of m entirely so it's easier for you to follow okay thank you they were asking to find the a and b value you can use a calculator if you if you want uh, but I can use B quest minus 4 AC la. This is 3D is 36 9 times 36 is what? 6, 6 la. Or 9 9 9 times 4 right And this is 3 right Of course la. I mean you cannot use that la. Okay 9 times 4 and 3 Is not good So it's what? 12 12 times 3 Is not good also uh, So you need to Use B square minus 4 EC already. So B square minus 4 EC. First of all, check whether it's valid or not. 56 square. Oh, 
oh actually it, it can be factorized uh, I'm wrong again this is 36 uh. so this is the factorization is the 3m plus 2 and m plus 18 okay it can be factorized so the gradient is either m equals to minus 1 3 over 2 3 over 2 over 3 or m equals to minus 18 okay so which means that your a can be this is how we put x right your x one point you get 12 8 the other point you get this thing you see you substitute the numbers huh? i mean it is no brainer this is very simple